Safety first, guys. Safety first. <laughs> All right. If I remember how to do this, yep. I had one of these, not an ISF. I'm not fancy like Alec is here. Uh, obviously, guys, this is Alec. This is his car. It's a beautiful blue ISF. I'll let him talk about it a little bit here, but uh, yeah. What's all done to this car exactly? Uh, just 2009 ISF. Um, has an exhaust on it. Um, intake, AFE, dry filter. It's lowered on teen HTEC springs. Uh, and that's about it for the main main things. I mean, little things here and there, but. But this is your daily driver too, right? That's it. So, I mean, this this he has an thing. ISF for a daily driver, guys. Like, it does not get much better than that. And the first thing I'm noticing is how fucking quiet it is <laughs> in here compared to my cars. It has it a pretty loud exhaust, which I'll cut over to a clip for you guys. Uh, the car is quite loud. But inside, you would never, you would never know this car is loud by any stretch of the means. It's got a lot of insulation. Yeah, and it, it rides so so smooth. Like, it's lowered, right? It's I mean, the, the front yeah, half the front is lowered here, yeah. and I mean, yeah, I can't feel any bumps. I mean, it doesn't feel <laughs> like it, it doesn't feel like a typical lowered vehicle. And just so an FYI, guys, I am not going to be driving it hard. When he takes back the car, <laughs> I'll let him. I'll let him hammer on the car. I do not. You can't too, hurt it, man. It's it's a Toyota. Well, you can't hurt it. It's too cold. <laughs> if I if it would break loose, I would cry because it would wreck. And then you know, is it auto downshift? Oh, that's pretty neat. See, I've never driven one of these. If you guys it, can tell, it does like, throttle match. Yeah, like this It'll is look throttle if you're in uh, if you're taking into the the manual mode. So all right, we're gonna try manual mode here. So I just pull it over. Yep. And that works purely off the paddle shifters, or yep. You can use either one, paddle or the or the shifter. But... Well, that shifts actually pretty quick too, guys. It like is. I'm surprised because, like you said, this isn't a true dual clutch right, either. Right. Yeah, it came out for 2008. I mean, this thing really shifts pretty. It's pretty amazing for 2008. Wow. <clears throat> I bought one. And the harder it seems, like the harder. I don't know how it's how the computer works, but it seems like the harder you're getting on it, the quicker it shifts too. Really? It's kind of strange. Yeah. I'll let him test all that and show you guys and watch him scare the shit out of me here in a little bit. But first thing I'm noticing, I had an IS250, all right, which is like the girliest, wimpy version of the ISF. It, it, obviously, the cars are the same chassis, but just the first thing to get into it, one, the steering wheel is much nicer. The blue stitching on the steering wheel is very cool. The paddle shifters are right there, big and bulbous and right in front of your face. I just feel like I'm cocooned too. Like the seats feel nicer. Everything in general is much nicer in this vehicle than what my old IS250 was. Like this car is just nice in general. And I like the like tan, like whitish seats. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. So the one thing here I wanted to ask Alec was what made you want an ISF? Like what made you, I mean, you were a Honda guy for many, many years, you know, Acura's, Honda's, right. all that good stuff. So what made you go to the Toyota platform, Lexus in general? What made you want an ISF? Back probably about uh, eight years ago, I traded my Civic, or I sold my Civic and got an IS300. Um, and I really just loved that car. Um, it wasn't particularly fast. Uh, I love that it was rear-wheel drive. I love that it was fun to drive. Um, so after that, I had an IS350. Um, got rid of that for a while. I had a Jeep SRT8. Uh, and then I had a kid. And uh, Wait, you had wait, you had an SRT8 Jeep? I had an SRT8 Jeep, well, yeah. How did I, I don't remember that. <laughs> That's I only had it for about a year, <clears throat> if that. I'm going to um, let you continue here. We're getting back yeah, on that yeah. then. But then, um, yeah, I had a kid, and I was freaking out. I was like, man, the Jeep's no good in the snow. I was like, I need something. You know, we're going to have a kid. I need something that's going to be safe. So I bought an Acura MDX, and that thing was was no good for me. It was yeah, just did. boring. I felt, you know, I felt like I'd given up. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I can, I, yeah, I can see that. So, yeah. you know, I wanted, I wanted, I know, I was looking at, um, you know, M3s, Lexus ISFs, <clears throat> um, C63 AMGs, and the thing that really, really made me like to get, uh, like this car was the fact that it is a Toyota and it's reliable. Um, just reading on all the forums, seems like guys have a lot less problems with them compared to the BMWs. Yeah, uh, you can't the beat that, and they're cheap, so, like, to fix them. Like, yeah. But yeah. you can go to AutoZone and get half the parts on the ISF for the IS250. We're off, like, a Camry and everything else. I know they're obviously there's specific parts, but, like, a lot of, like, the the little pieces that are common to break right you can get them on anything which made it really really nice for if anything ever did go wrong like alternators right. i think the alternator off a of v6 camry and off of a 250 would bolt up to each other which made it nice now obviously having an isf totally different ball game uh this is the first year they came out with the v8 the five liter v8 correct 2008 was this 2009 oh this is 2009 year, okay <clears throat> the only main difference is uh this is they put the piano black here instead of the silver which I, I actually really like the black. I think it looks nicer. It kind of blends in with the yep. dash more. 
Um, I never even little, noticed that. Little things here and there. Yep. So is there anything this thing does not have optioned on it? Yeah, it's fully loaded. See, look at that. Most, of the, most of the ISFs in America had fully, they were fully loaded. They had the Mark 11s and sound, uh, sound package and yep. the navigation. Now, a lot of the ones in Europe, for some reason, I don't know why, they offer them without navigation, which is kind of strange. That is very weird. Sixty-some thousand dollar car that doesn't even have navigation. But yep. I'm hoping this isn't too dark, guys. His windows are dark. It is. It is yeah. tinted out, and I know it's a dark day too, so I'm hoping this comes out clear enough. But uh, it's got 18 percent on it. Yeah. I mean, that's perfectly legal, right? I mean, that would never get you pulled oh, over. No, no Me never. In Mexico, man. Yeah, in Mexico, it doesn't matter. Be amazed so. what you can get away with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to switch. I'll let him drive because I uh, do not want to wreck it. That's like my biggest fear. Uh, excuse me, sir. What are you doing? Turn, turn the track control. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die. So we're gonna die to, today. I don't want it to limit me. <laughs> Wonder if, will this help at all? That's probably. There we go. This will probably there help lighting some. Get some. Oh god, that exhaust note. So it'll go around this bend here, and then it's pretty well straight. sucked up inside my body and I'm definitely a 13 year old little girl <laughs> it's not too bad it's not too bad it's got a little go. it just does it so calm then like I shouldn't right. say calm but it, it just goes and like it's smooth if I would try doing the super I'd be shitting my pants I'm like oh my god is it gonna kick to the right is this gonna happen like it's just smooth <laughs> holy shit <laughs> holy fuck that thing is quick <laughs> uh, that my face is gonna look awesome on camera oh shit Hey, brakes work. That, that would be a stop sign. That would be a stop sign. <laughs> now you go out this way and you got a good stretch. Look, there's the, there's there's the we literally, we literally <laughs> beat the old minivan. That's awesome. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, like there's just no lag. Like I'm just, I'm so used to a turbo car, guys. And like, it, you're like, I wait for it. It takes off and it's awesome. But below that, you're like, all right, this thing just kind of like eh, makes cool noises. But besides that, that's all you're getting. There's no. There's no umph to it. Like down low, this thing's funny shit. Below 60, yeah. this thing is amazing. Yes. Now, is there anything you don't like about it? Uh, I wish it was a little bigger sometimes. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not too bad for my need. For what I really need and yeah. use it for. I mean, I do DJ on the side, which hauling all my DJ equipment in this thing really is kind of tough. It does fit in here. Yeah. Um, but you have to make it work. Yeah, but that's. I do love the car, really. There's not a whole lot to hate about it. Uh, I can say one thing I know you don't like. At least I hate it. Yeah. And I remember when I bought mine. I'll never forget it. I went to go put my snowboard in the car and went, what do you mean the seats don't fold down? Yes. I was like, I literally bought it and I th was going to haul stuff in it. I have every vehicle I thought had folding seats. I, I went to, and there's nothing there. So, guys, you can't fold down the seats. And that's like a stupid pet peeve. But it, when you come to real world life, you don't yeah. realize how much you use that yeah. until you it don't would have help it. A lot. It would help a lot, definitely. All right, we're just going to go up the road here. We're just cutting over to Mexico real quick. Yeah. Holy fuck, shit, fuck, 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 balls, shit. <laughs> There's a Prius there. I had to pass the Prius. It just, like, you guys can see me here. I'm lunging forward because it stops on the dime and takes off. Feels so tight. It's insanely quick. Holy shit! My face is probably. So, I'm just not used to this at all. Like I guess, like I said, when I'm driving my car, it's different. Like because I'm in control. Right. When you're not, you're like. When you're not in control, it definitely feels. Oh feels my gosh! Different. Totally different. <laughs> Because it even tells the little, is that a shift light or a yeah. shift noise? Shift in, like, yeah, it's like an So, like, I heard, like, this noise. little blip, and I'm like, is that telling you, hey, it's time to shift now? Yeah, because it, it won't shift for you. It'll hold it at red line forever. So, it so. I, even though it's not a dual clutch, it works 
damn, I mean, it's not like your typical, like my Corolla right, or right. like my Acura. If you would try to hold it redline, it'd say, no more, we're going to shift it forward. This will let you sit there and... You could like probably a blow up the engine if you just held it there forever. Yeah, yeah that's... Uh, <laughs> you can definitely feel it pulling. That's pretty badass. All right, guys, so let's go ahead. We're going to finish this off here. Let's go ahead and clip back to the house here. We're going to finish off with the car. All right, guys, so back in the garage now, and I just want to say a big thank you to Alec here for bringing up his ISF. That was a ton of fun. I appreciate you driving. Mean, he drove almost an hour to get here today, and it's cold, it's and cold. it's miserable. So we didn't do a whole lot of outside footage that I would have liked to have done, but it's just it's too windy, it's too miserable, it's too Pennsylvania right now, unfortunately. Right. So thanks again, man. I appreciate you coming up. Uh, guys, again, as usual, if you could, go down below. Check out my Facebook and Instagram. I also have my website down there. Check out all the merchandise I have for sale. If there's anything you need, please shoot me a message. Thank you guys very much, and I'll talk to you later.